if you're watching this video on my public channel it's possibly it's very likely that this home has already been uh, sold or it's already on the contract if you want to get access to these videos as soon as i edit them and upload them as private videos on my account and channel make sure you reach out to me i will make sure that you have eyes on properties that are hit in the market as soon as they do so you can make sure you're not letting anything go by just because of timing issues or unavailability you can easily take a look at these private videos while you're taking a break while you're eating lunch and find out if you really have a, a true interest in that home or if it's something that you want to pass on so make sure you reach out make sure you connect with me so you can get access to those private videos let's go ahead and get on with this video hi everyone Luis Pedoya with Charles Rumber Realty today I'm going to be showing you a home in Seminole listed at 530,000 1500 square foot three bedroom two bathrooms it's a great location five minutes away from the water but hear me out i've got a special mission message for you today i want you to watch this entire video i'm going to be doing some commentary about this home everything related to airbnb purposes again if you're in this video my name is luis pedoya i'm an airbnb investor and investments agent i have become the expert here in the Pinellas county for the largo market and seminole market so if you need any assistance on finding the right insurance for your Airbnb, finding the right uh, contractors, the right closing company, title company, etc., feel free to reach out to me. I'm here to help you. We've got at least several investors like yourself reaching out to us, investing with us. We have found a, a good system that helps you get this done regardless of where you are in the world or in the United States. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this home. It's in a corner lot, and I'm gonna be doing some commentary about Airbnb purposes. Again, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And again, always happy to help you. Make sure you reach out. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this home. So the first thing I wanna point out is the neighborhood. Obviously there are no regulations in this area, and this is Seminole unincorporated meaning that we are going by the rules and regulations of the Pinellas County so we got a home here with a couch looks a little bit different but immediately right next to it a really nice home as you can see it's a very peaceful community very peaceful area very close to the water and it's on a corner lot so this home was built in 1960s there is going to be some maintenance to be done here in this grass before the property is ready to be listed on the airbnb vrbo and google now guys if you're concerned concerned about how you're going to manage this property from this stands from where you're at don't worry we've got you covered we work with the best management company in town we've had nothing but great experiences with them and they're gonna help you set up your airbnb business your profile your photos coordinate so that you can do this from anywhere in the world. Here's your Goodman unit. Take a look at the exterior of the house. Here we got a little elevation change. We're going up, main door entrance. Seems like it was freshly painted, the exterior. Got a few cracks here at the entrance. Now guys, I don't mean to offend anybody with my comments. I don't mean to be rude or anything to the owner of that house. I am just going to be very objective about this home. So we're here because of the location and also because of this nice entrance that we have here in the house. As you notice, this house needs some lightning. I already got all the lights on in the house and it's you can still see that there's a little bit of darkness in this, in this room. So the next thing I want to point out to you from this take is that we have an elevation change right here and that needs to be notified on your airbnb listing and needs to be mentioned so that there is no issues with people tripping over those but as you come in you have kitchen a little bit of a hanging out room living room here dining room i'm sorry living room is back here a fireplace we got a master bedroom and if i turn this what side we're going to find a room let me just take a quick look at what's back here. We got a room over here, bathroom, and another room. Okay, so let's go from the beginning. Let's start from the right. 
at the pointing out things that I'm seeing at this home, especially at the price point. There's things that we need to consider. So an example, these are single panel windows and you will eventually want to upgrade those to hurricane rated windows that are double pan windows. Now, it's something that could be possibly done on your own. It's something that I'm sorry that you could just uh, have a company come out and do it and just upgrade them yourself. But it's something that you want to include into your expenses or in your calculations of whether or not you want to buy that home. So here's the kitchen. I want to give you a little bit more detail about this floor right here. Hopefully that's good detail there. And we got one side of the kitchen here with a double sink and the dishwasher. We got some cabinetry here. Guys, when you're looking at homes, I strongly recommend you open up these cabinets. It, it'll give you a good idea what you're looking at. So it seems like we've got new plumbing going on here. But definitely this house needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It seems like they just did some work. So the windows and everything, it's a little bit dusty. And the furnishings of this house that you're seeing today are a stage from a staging company. So you cannot buy those. Obviously the appliances do come with the house. We'll have to always double check that. But again, this is something that eventually you might wanna have upgraded. This will work for Airbnb. This fridge might work for Airbnb. Let me just take a look. I think it can, yes, I think it looks really nice. And then we have the garage right here. So before we get into the garage area, by the way, again, these are double pan windows, just need to be cleaned up. What I do notice in this floor plan is that we do get a small, smaller kitchen. Usually at this price point, we wanna make sure that we have a nice kitchen and a nice master bedroom or and nice bathrooms. Now again, guys, this home is very well located. Hence the reason of the price being around 550. Okay. So again, we don't have any skylights. We don't have, I'm sorry, uh, light fixtures here. So we're lacking on some lightning in this room. So you can see it's a little bit dark and I do have those two windows open. And here's the living room with this division. Now, it looks like it could be turned into a really interesting and fun space. But at the same time, it does give me a feeling, a feeling of being a little too crammed up, too enclosed. I feel like I am in a bunker a little bit. And again, I don't mean to offend anybody or be rude towards the owner of the house. I'm just pointing things out if I was to buy this home as an Airbnb property. So here's your master bedroom. All right, let's just take a look here. It seems like we got some double pan windows in this bedroom. So these are the type of windows that we wanna have. All right, guys and girls, these are more sturdy, hurricane rated windows. They create a better sense of security for everybody. And I always recommend buying a house that just already has them. Like I said, home needs a little bit of cleaning. We're investors, we can look past that. We have no issues. And this is the master bedroom connects to the garage. The garage has access to the out, uh, to the patio. So I will show you that in a moment. Master bathroom. Right here with the showers, the tile, all the work. But again, there's just something about the, the house that I think it just needs to be clean. Okay. All right, and we have a little window here. So we got, look at this. I mean, I, this is the type of stuff that makes me wonder why will anybody do a job like this? But, and, and specific, especially not clean and do anything about it. We'll have to figure out what the story is with this home. But again, we got a crank window here, probably from the 70s. Let's just take a quick wash here of my hands. All right. <clears throat> We got a ceiling fan up there. Eventually will need to be upgraded. This is one of those that starts to look a little bit dated. You can see them that they seem to be a little bit dated. And for Airbnb guys, we do not necessarily need a huge closet. 
you know, people are staying at your Airbnb for just a couple of days. So luggage is not necessarily an issue, but it's always great to have it. All right, let's just take a look at what's back here. So here's the vision of the house and we're gonna go up the steps. This is something that needs to be explained and shown in photos so that there's no accidents at your house, at your Airbnb. All right, guys, and again, if you have any questions about insurability, can we get these homes insured? Let's talk a little bit about this while we show you the house. You can pretty much see what we got going on right here. It's just a, a room. It's a three, three bedrooms, two bathrooms house. So we've seen one, one of the bedrooms and bathrooms. Seems like we have a much newer window here, but check this out. Broken window up here. So I don't know if they just installed this like this because it looks like a brand new frame to me and it's fairly clean. Insurability guys, um, a lot of the insurance companies have bailed them from Florida. You may have already heard of that. It's a little bit more difficult right now to find insurance. They're not supposed to discriminate roof age older than that's younger than 15 years. So technically, if you have a, a roof that's within that 15 year mark, this weird closet here, if it's within that 15 years, you should be able to get insurance, but it's still a lot difficult, more difficult when it's a, an older roof. So if you're having issues finding the right property or the right insurance for your home and insurance agent, I work with Brightway Insurance from Pinellas County and I'll be happy to put you in contact with them. They've been able to help a lot of my clients finding a better quote or even just a quote when a lot of other companies were not able to even provide us with a pricing. So we have that those professionals available to you as well. And um, like I mentioned before, we've got the management company, Evolve Management, that we can also connect you with so that they can explain to you everything that they do for your management, for the management of your property. So now it's time to go back to the pool. We've seen three, bath three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to the outside. We have an access here to the garage. The garage is accessible through the master bathroom. And we also have a door back here. So why don't we just take this shortcut here and then we can always come back to that spot. Let's take a look at the garage. HVAC, we got a, I think I'm seeing some traces of, of insects and maybe even rat poop. So there might be some animals living here. <laughs> and we got that attic that's open up there. So that needs to be addressed. It's not something that I like, but again, we're being very, very objective about how we look at properties. Just want you to know that if you're buying a home with me, I'll never just tell you that it looks great and fantastic. I want to point out every little thing to you that I can see, of course, so that you're buying something, you know what you're buying, even if you're doing this out of state. Now, guys, there's one more person that I want to bring up to you that's part of our team, and that's going to be a new addition to our team. We've powered it up with Lisa, Lisa Soko. She is a certified um, property stager and interior designer. She's a professional interior designer. And the way she helps us is by helping us find the right furniture and the right materials, the right um, equipment to set up your Airbnb, your homes, your bunk, your, your beds, your bunk beds, your mattresses, your, co your couch, your chairs, your all the furniture and furnishings you need at your house. Lisa Sokol is the one that we have selected as a partnership to partner up with and work with and she is fantastic. I absolutely recommend her. All right, and this is the exterior of the house. So again, need some help with the grass. The pool isn't clean, so it's a little bit hard to see what's going on there. I'm also seeing there's a little bit of an issue here with the, with the fence, some encroachment from, from your neighbor. It's a nice shaped pool. I like the idea that you can kind of sit over here it's quite a quite dirty so I, know, and I can't see it right but i believe it's been resurfaced so it might just be a matter of 
coming out here at the wrong date. Maybe they're getting ready to clean all of this up. The home was just listed a couple of days ago. And this is also something I really, really want to tell you. I really wish you hear this. If you are watching this video in my public videos, it means that it's probably already been sold or gone under contract. This video that I'm recording is going to be edited and uploaded today as a private video and sent to my hub of investors directly and privately to each one of them so that all these homes that are coming into the market, you have eyes on them. As soon as they go in the market, you can easily watch these videos while you're taking a break, while you're having lunch and find out if the home that you're looking at on the photos shows the same way, right? Extremely important. You'll be surprised how many homes we found that they did not look good on photos and they actually showed really well once you go see them. And same with the opposite. Some homes that look incredible on the photos, but when you come out and take a look at them, they don't. So I see again, more window work to be done here. And they kind of mix and match in different windows here. This is a different type of window with a different color. This is a different window here with a different color. So, again, a lot of potential in this Airbnb. A lot of potential in this property. Let me just make sure that we got the right angle. So, if you have any more questions, if you'd like to hear more about these strategies, if you'd like to learn more about how this Airbnb business works, I am happy to help you. It's free to you to work with me. Commissions are paid by the sellers. So you're basically working with somebody that really knows the market, really has an interest in your, in your profitability and your business working out, becoming your friend and trusty ally here in Florida. All right, make sure you like and subscribe. As you can see, it's starting to get hot again. We had a couple of cold days for last week and it's supposed to start chilling down next few months going down to 50 55 degrees uh, fahrenheit which is very very cool for me but anyways i hope you like this video i hope you enjoy it make sure you like and subscribe comment if you have any questions don't forget to reach out luis Pedoya signing off bye bye